So here's my audience for my speech, guys. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so love heals. Um, I can see no matter what challenges you have, if you are loved through it um, by people, by situations, um, it can change. Um, these are the words of Margaret Ann Jessup uh, in the State Journal, Journal Register. Um, today I will share the inspiring story of Reverend Margaret Ann Jessup. Um, whose dedication to One Nippy Lovely Ministry has transformed the lives of vulnerable women in Springfield, Illinois. Um, in a world where um, we face many hardships, um, Reverend Jessup's work reminds us of the power of the community and love in creating change. Um, so first, I will talk about Margaret Ann's uh, background. Um, so, Margaret Ann um, has a master's degree in nursing. Uh, since she was a little girl, she always knew that she wanted to be a nurse and help people. Um, she was an oncology and hospice nurse for 25 years. Um, it brought her comfort to um, be comforted for people at the end of their life um, and through those difficult times. Um, she had felt um, drawn to changing careers um, and getting closer to God. Um, she did a three-year seminar, um, and then she became a um, pastor at Douglas United Methodist Church um, for nearly a decade now. Um, according to Springfield Business Journal, in 2016 was when she founded Wouldn't It Be Lovely? Um, a ministry aimed at helping women recover from addiction, poverty, and abuse, um, providing them with meaningful employment and support. So that's a little bit on her background, and then I'm going to go into some key achievements. Um, so, Wouldn't It Be Lovely offers jobs um, in refurbishing furniture, sewing, and candle making. And I brought a candle from there. So you could see um, we actually spent a year developing our candles to make sure they were safe. Um, and they'll burn for like 80 hours, I think, was what we um, ended up doing. Uh, but this is the Be Mine candle. Um, so you guys can smell it. It's from Valentine's. It was our Valentine's candle for the Valentine's Day sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Maybe you can pass it, you can pass it, I am. <laughs> um, so I have that. Um, and the jobs really give girls like skills and independence and makes you feel better. Um, for me, I was in the sewing room, so I can take apart a sewing machine and put it back together. Um, I've always known how to sew, but I actually got to learn a lot more, even with um, uh, like stocking and ordering fabrics and um, delegating work to people. So I got to learn a lot of, you learn a lot of skills um, for business and just for life to help you get into the next step of your life. Um, uh, another um, goal that we had was to make a recovery home for women and especially for women um, that are like single women because um, there's a lot of uh, help for women with children but there is not a lot of support for homeless single women that don't have somewhere to live and don't have enough um, financial stability to have a place um, so in the summer of 2022 we finally gained a house um, and that is a sanctuary for the women it's somewhere safe for them to be while they're growing and learning these new skills for the next stage in life um, she also was able to start a boutique then. So the boutique is in a little care house outside. Um, and that just helps because it's another job for women. They can work in the boutique as opposed to doing the furniture or sewing or candles. Um, and then it also gives us revenue continuously to have a cute little shop to sell things. So it's not just online sales or the three sales um, a year that we do for the furniture. Um, 
So in 2022, um, she received one of the USA Today's Women of the Year Award, um, according to the State Journal Register. And that award is for women that impact the community. Um, and then in South County Publications in 2017, she received the Athena Award, and that's for like women leaders. Um, um, Wibble has employed 120 women so far today. So I just asked her so I'd have a recent. Um, and then those are just some key points there. And next we're gonna move on to the impact on the community. Um, so obviously transitional employment, um, the ministry's goal is to offer a hand up, not a hand out. Um, empowering women to take control of their lives. Um, so another thing, she's always networking. So that's like a key point because with the women, she would talk to us and find out what our problems were, whether it's daycare, whether it's food, clothes, coats in the winter time, um, Christmas presents. Um, some women have never been to high school and she um, had worked with um, GED tutors and got them set up to where they could study for their GED for as long as they needed to, as many times as they needed to, to get that GED to get moving in the next steps. And then she also helps with getting to college classes and talking to people. Um, uh, we also would have like nutrition classes, yoga classes, just all those things to get you in healthy routines and learning healthy things about your body. We had financial classes. Um, so it's a lot and it's all the community and everybody working together. Um, and she was real ma amazing at getting all those things done for us, um, whatever we needed. Um, along with that uh, is the emotional and psychological he healing. You're at seven have, minutes. Okay. We would have um, counselors come and work with us, and we had counseling once a week um, just to help with everything. Okay. Um, uh, Reverend Jessup emphasizes that the best part of ministry is seeing how women respond to being loved and respected and how their lives change, like just from all that love. Um, and then next, I'm gonna go to inspirational message. Um, so love heals. Reverend Jessup believes that love heals and as the philosophy is evidence in the transformations seen in the women she helps. Um, we have a metaphor with the furniture that we refurbish. Um, so the so basically, you know, we're fixing up cracked, wobbly furniture and making it beautiful again and making you want it. And it's kind of like also what we're doing in our lives at that point is we're working on ourselves to better ourselves, to be beautiful again and feel beautiful again and feel loved and worthy of that love at the same time um, that we're fixing up this stuff. Um, there's a lot of community support, so we have mentors and volunteers. So with the volunteers, um, they can come in and work beside us while we're painting furniture and stuff. And it really helps to like get to know the community and get them in there with us, um, seeing that we're people just like them. Um, uh, and it kind of gets rid of the stigma of the uh, of women that have struggled with addiction in the past and stuff. Um, so then we're gonna move on to my conclusion. Um, so Reverend Jessup um, works with Wibble, has not only provided employment and housing, but also has offered hope and healing to many women. As Reverend Jessup says, love heals. Let us be inspired to be an example to spread love and support in our own communities. Yay. <laughs>